Some time ago, I was looking through our older courses, uh, stuff that we don't have on our website right now, and I stumbled upon the program Superligato. And that program has some amazing licks and sequences that are just too cool to be left in a drawer. So we decided to put it out there again. And the, the cool thing about them is that we do two things. We have legato sequences, and then we have sec sequences and licks that are based on using only the left hand or your fretting hand as you're muting the strings, which is a really impressive technique uh, if you do it on stage. Um, and the second thing that is really cool about them is that not only are they impressive, they're also based on the Powerlick philosophy on, on its very early stages. Uh, and what is that? Well, it's, it's all about taking licks that you can develop. So instead of learning one lick here, another there, and then a new lick again, and then one there, you take sequences and combine them in one place on the neck. So let's say you take any six note shape, scale shape, and then you learn to play one sequence in one place. Learn to do another sequence in the same place, and then you take a generic bunt bundle of sequences that fit together and learn to pl play them in one place, and you can combine them freely and improvise in that one place. Then you learn to move that bundle of sequences horizontally, then vertically on the neck, and suddenly you find yourself improvising at an amazing level of speed, where it's just amazing that the brain can really do that. And that's the straight and true path to that result. The power lick philosophy, really, you build one sequence at a time, practicing it, then combining it, then moving it horizontally, then vertically. So it's a step-by-step -step process. And that's not very, you know, in the, uh, the original power lick, uh, or sorry, super legato program, we don't do that very methodically, but it's still in there, the philosophy. But then we decided to add two new power licks that come as books that you can you know, go from page to page uh, online or download the PDF. Online, you'll find a sound file for each and every little part of the process of learning the four sequences that combine in one place and then moving them horizontally and vertically. So it's that easy step-by-step -step process. You don't have to think. You just have to do step one, then step two, and that process will take you straight and true to the result you want, which is, you know, being able to improvise runs across the neck. So I warmly recommend this little bundle of programs. If you wanna go all the way, I warmly recommend that you go for the whole thing. A big legato program, which also has uh, crucial insights on how to develop this technique to the highest level. Um, and, you know, a lot of cool stuff and more licks and sequences that you can really go into. The legato technique is really the fastest way to playing fast because, you know, it has the least amount of moving parts in it. You're using your left hand and not so much your right hand. And so I really recommend that if you want to go into this area of playing a little faster than melodic lines, then this is a great place to start. And it's really the glue that holds together alternate picking, economy picking, directional picking, sweep picking, whatever it is that you're doing. You, you have that, you have those hammer-ons pull-offs as the glue in between them or the bridge in between uh, different techniques. And I use that technique on an acoustic guitar even. And I use it a lot on an acoustic. So it's really, it really is a central uh, part of your, your uh, skills vocabulary or, or library, you could say. So look into it, see if it's for you. And if it is, I hope to see you on the other side.